So this is my new camera. It's called a Polaroid Spectra System. Made in the United Kingdom. It's very easy to operate. Put this lever and it comes up. And it charges the internal capacitors and then when it was charged it shows the green light. Similar to the other Polaroid cameras, the film prank has a battery inside of it. But the camera does not run directly off of the batteries. It actually charges some internal capacitors inside of the camera with the power from the batteries. That way, if your batteries are dead, if you, you can just spend a minute and a half or so of charging the capacitors. But then you would have the power in the capacitors. And it's quite simple. All the connectors on the back, or settings on the back, I mean. I don't know for sure what all of them do. But you have your noise, anti-noise, you have your timer, you have your autofocus, you have your flash, and you have, I believe, the brightness setting. You have three settings there. And then you have a three-prong hookup for a remote control, a charging light, and you have your number of pictures left, which I've already used of all the pictures in this one. And then whenever you're ready to take a picture, you just press the button. Of course, you are this. Of course, there's no film in it, but oh well. This camera uses plastic lenses, which is a pretty common for other cameras of the time. But I believe it has a sonar um, focusing system, which is quite interesting. Now, how this film works is it's exposed, and then it is pushed through some rollers, so that, well, inside of here, there's, there's a, a packet of developing chemicals. Whenever it's pushed through the rollers, that packet is ruptured into this sleeve up here that has the, the d photosensitive chemicals in it. When, uh, that roller pushes the liquid up through there and it develops the photo. And as you can tell, some of the development fluid has leaked out of this or evaporated because it didn't get up on the top, as you can see there. So that is undeveloped film up, up in the corner there. But it still makes takes pictures, so that's pretty nice. It is a good idea to refrigerate or freeze your uh, film because that stops it from uh, exposing itself because the chemicals tend to react with, the, with each other. Now, freezing it doesn't entirely stop it, but it does slow down the, uh, the amount of time that it has and it prolongs the expir expiration date. Even though this box probably hasn't been refrigerated or freeze, ro frozen since it, it was made in 2006, but by putting it into a freezer, it will help diminish any of the degradation of it from this point on until I use it. There's something inherently beautiful about instant film. It's quick, like digital film, but it's one of a kind, like a tintype. You can uh, you can copy it, but you only get a picture of it. You don't get the same exact exact image. There's only uh, once you take a picture, that's the only picture that'll be like it. It's a one of a kind. You can't replace that. And if you go around asking people if they know where to get brand new Polaroid 600 or Polaroid Spectra film, they will tell you, if they know anything about it, they will tell you that it was discontinued in 2008, or 2000, yeah, 2008, and you can't buy it anywhere because there's no more film being made. Or is that true? There's a group of enthusiasts and entrepreneurs that in 2008 bought the factory and all the equipment that Polaroid was going to junk or sell. And they've been producing a film ever since then. And in 2010, they've been make, uh, they'd make an, made enough money to expand their impossible project in order to make other dead formats of film. And so you can get a lot of your film now. And the price is not that bad. It's $25 for a 8-pack of color film, which that goes down to about $3 per picture, which isn't really bad. So if you want to check out what the impossible project sells on their website, just click anywhere on this video and it will take you automatically to their website and you can see what then you can see if maybe they make the film for your camera. See ya!